Here at the Oregon Trail School District, student safety is our highest priority. The best way to keep students and staff safe from the COVID-19 virus is to keep the virus out of our schools. So, if a child is not feeling well, how does a parent or caregiver know they shouldn't come to school? When in doubt, stay home. If a student is feeling sick or showing symptoms of COVID-19, keep everyone around them safe. Keep them at home. Students can still attend class through distance learning so they won't fall behind and they'll still be a part of our learning community. In this video, we will specifically answer, can my child attend school today? How you answer these next three questions will determine if your child should stay home or if it's safe for them to come to school. The first question you need to ask yourself as a parent is, has your child or someone your child has come in contact with tested positive for COVID-19? The answer is yes, then they will need to stay home. Focus on rest and recovery and on their health. They can still attend school online and be a member of our learning community through distance learning. Make sure to let your school know that your child has come into contact with or has contracted the coronavirus. This is a key piece of information that the school will need to keep everyone safe. A student will have to stay home for at least 10 days from the first symptom. If they've come in contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19, your child will need to remain at home for at least 14 days from that contact. Please keep your child and others safe and healthy. Stay home. But what if your child has not tested positive for the COVID-19 virus, but still has a major symptom? Healthcare officials have identified major symptoms of the COVID-19 virus as a fever above 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, persistent cough, chills, or a new loss of taste or smell. If your child is showing any of these major symptoms of the coronavirus, you should consult your doctor or healthcare professional. Also, the student will need to stay home for 10 days from the date the first symptoms begin. Be sure to reach out to a medical provider for a COVID test and further information. Remember, a student is still able to be a part of our learning community through distance learning. Please keep your child and others safe and healthy. Stay home. What if your child doesn't have a major symptom of COVID-19, but are still feeling ill? They may be experiencing fever, a diagnosed rash, diarrhea, vomiting, headache, or unexplained behavior change. These are minor symptoms of COVID-19 and could be a sign of COVID or something else. If they're showing any of these minor symptoms only, have your child stay home until they are free of vomiting or diarrhea for 48 hours and free of a fever without the use of medication for 24 hours. Remember, a student is still able to be a part of the learning community and they can access the classroom through distance learning resources. If you answered yes to any of these questions, then your child will need to physically distance themselves from school. They can come back to school only when they have been cleared by a health care provider or health department, their symptoms are improving, if they have been free for vomiting and diarrhea for 48 hours, and they have been free for 24 hours from a fever without the use of fever-reducing medications. Even though a student is physically distant from school, remember they can still attend school remotely using distance learning tools used earlier in the year. Here at the Oregon Trail School District, our highest priority is the safety and well-being of our staff and students. By working together, looking for symptoms of the COVID-19 virus, and staying at home when you're sick, we can work towards that goal.